If you know the slope of a line and a point the line crosses, then you can use the point-slope form to find the equation of the line. In this video, we'll be using the Desmos graphing calculator to create a point-slope template. Start by creating a Desmos window. You may want to log in. Input the coordinates x1, y1 as shown. You'll be asked if you want to create sliders for x1 and y1. You do, so click the All button. You'll see two sliders, one for x1 and one for y1. You'll also see the point graphed here. Click on the Label button to display the coordinates. Click and drag the point to move it to see how the coordinates change. Change the sliders so that they show integer steps for the coordinates. Click on the number, and then on Step, click 1, and press Enter. Repeat with the other slider. Click and drag again on the point, and you'll see how the point snaps to the grid in whole number amounts. Repeat with coordinates x2, y2 like this. Create the sliders. Click and drag on this blue area to move the coordinates up. Then click on Label and set the sliders for x2 and y2 to integer steps. And then move the second point. Now create an equation that shows the slope formula, like this. m equals, and click on the slash to create a fraction, y2 minus y1 in the numerator, and x2 minus x1 in the denominator. We now have all the components to use the point-slope form. Input the point slope form. y minus y1 equals m, the slope, times x minus x1. And you'll see the graph of the line that crosses the two points that you graphed. See how the line crosses the two points? Move the points around and you'll see that the, that the line continues to pass through the two points. And that's simply because we connected the coordinates of x1 and y1 to the slope, and then this equation picks up the values for y1 and x1 and the slope. So this is your point-slope template. 